Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I make videos about travel, lots of travel vlogs and general travel tips as well. So today I'm going to be making a video about travel essentials that you need for backpacking or just generally going on holiday to be able to help you to pack light and be a little bit more sustainable. So you can buy all of these things off of Amazon and I will have everything linked down below. So the first thing is very very helpful with the state of travel in Europe specifically at the moment. That is an Apple AirTag. If you don't have an iPhone I assume that you would get something other than the AirTag. I'm assuming that there must be the equivalent or something. I'll have a quick research and maybe link it if I can find something. But basically it tracks your luggage, bag, your wallet, whatever you put this in, you can track where it is. So I think that this is going to be very helpful for the state of European travel at the moment, especially as for my next two trips, I'm going to be taking a luggage that is going to have to be checked in. So I am not going to be transporting it myself. So I'm going to put this inside it and I will be able to see where in the world my luggage is, whether it has arrived in my destination, whether it is back in the UK or whether it's flown off to Italy or something like that, um, I will know exactly where it is. So yeah, I think that this is going to be very helpful. And just in general, I think I'm going to keep this in my valuables bag whenever I'm traveling so that I know if I ever lose it, that I will know exactly where my bag is. I think that it's a very, very useful tool. I do know someone that when I went traveling in Mexico, he put his bag down on the beach. He went back there half an hour later, not even half an hour and it was gone, realised that he had his Apple Watch in his bag and was able to track his bag into someone's motorbike, like into the boot of their bike. The police nearby, they bust open the bike and he got his bag back. So having something like this is very, very useful. It could save you a lot of money in the long run. Okay, um, the next thing is this little bag here. This is an electrics wire bag. So if I open it up, um, you can see that you've got these little bits here which allow you to put cables and stuff in. You've got a couple little pockets which are good like memory stick size or like for spare camera batteries I often use those for. And then you have a little pocket here as well which has a zip. And actually the item that I keep in here I'm also going to recommend and that is an adapter. This one is a really good one. It's got four USB slots. It's very very small and then you can change the head of it to be matching the country that you're going to. So I think it came with a UK adapter, European, US. I feel like there was another one. Australia? But yeah, you just like slide the end of it on and then you've got four USB plugs. Obviously with this one, I need to take like a regular adapter and an extension lead as well for any wall plugs that can't go in a USB. But I think that this is really handy to be able to charge like your phone, your portable charger, your iPad, whatever at the same time. So the next thing is as I just mentioned, a portable charger. So I think that this is very, very handy for when you're traveling. Um, obviously you don't want to lose power on your phone because you always want to be able to find your way around. You always want to be able to contact the police if you need it or talk to your family or whatever it is, you will often need your phone when you're traveling. So having a power bank is very, very handy. It's also handy for those long journeys, those long travel journeys where you're spending 24 hours, 48 hours even to get to a destination. Having one of these can be very handy so that you're able to watch movies on the plane and stuff. If your plane doesn't have little USB port, uh, ports, then you can just use your power bank. Okay, so the next two things are really for if you're into like taking a lot of pictures on a camera or like making YouTube vlogs or whatever it is. This is very handy. It's a memory card case. Um, so I don't have, I actually don't know where half my memory cards are at the moment, but I have one memory card in there. So yeah, it just stores your memory cards. It's waterproof. So like if your bag gets wet, your memory cards are gonna be okay. And it's like a hard shell, so it's not gonna get crushed in your bag. Um, so I think that this is a very useful thing to have. Um, it also came, this specific one, with a little pin thing to be able to open the sim card port on your phone so that you can change your sim card nice and easily. I normally just take out an earring and use my earring but it came with the thing anyway so I'm just keeping it in there but this also means that you'd be able to store your sim card nice and safely um, if you do get sim cards in other countries as well. I guess I'll also mention <laughs> memory cards. This one's a 256 gigabyte memory card and then I also have a 126? 132 gigabyte memory card. Um, those are the two big ones that I use. I do have a 16 gigabyte one, but 
really can only use that for photos because videos take up a lot more space now. And then I have like lots of micro SD cards. So this case can hold four SD cards and four micro SD cards. Next thing is a hard drive. If you are taking lots of um, pictures on your phone, you might want to back them up just in case you lose your phone or if your phone gets I don't know, water damage or stolen, whatever it is, then you can back up your pictures. But also if you are taking lots of videos to make travel vlogs, then definitely you want to be backing up your videos as soon as you get home each evening. Okay, the next thing I'm going to recommend is a mask and snorkel. I love having a mask and snorkel when I travel. I personally think that this isn't essential because when you go to the beach, you can swim, you can watch the fish, you don't have to worry about your breathing because you've got your snorkel, you can actually see everything. Well, unless it's crazy sandy, but um, yes, I actually didn't get my mask off of Amazon, um, but I will have a look on Amazon and link some good ones. Yeah, I got mine in Utila from the little dive shop, but even just like a cheap mask and snorkel will be just something nice to have because often you'll go on like snorkel trips or even if you're diving obviously get a proper dive one but it's just much nicer to have your own than to have like the moldy snorkels that some places provide that have been chewed up by other people it's much nicer to have your own the next thing is a face fake tan so obviously i would recommend when you go traveling if you're going to a hot country wear spf 50 on your face you want to protect the skin on your face keep it looking nice and youthful and then obviously because your body is gonna tan i mean my face tans very slowly anyway but also especially with the fact 50 sun cream it will hardly tan so i use this to make it the same color as the rest of me so i think that that is a great little must have and i get it from amazon and often it's on discount so you can i literally got a couple of them for like one pound fifty each at one point sometimes i've paid like six or seven pounds the price really fluctuates for anyone who's interested this one is the dark one it doesn't come out that dark so look at me my skin tone it looks fine on my face as long as you don't put too much on it okay so the next thing that you need is a tide pen it's basically a stain remover pen um so i discovered these when i started working at my current job in lulu um lululemon and because we have to sometimes remove stains from the clothes when people try them on and there's makeup on it or whatever these pens are amazing like i have spilt coffee down my top before a shift before come in and just like dabbed it off i think it was even this white one and like it's clean uh these these are fantastic and obviously when you're traveling you're re-wearing the same clothes a few times before you wash them so if you get anything down it rather than having to stick it straight in the wash bag you can just get rid of that stain and drag the top's life out even longer the next thing is a reusable straw this one is a collapsible one i actually lost the end of this it used to have like a little red bit on it so that you didn't feel like the cold or the hot from the drink but it doesn't really matter um it's just a collapsible straw so many people laugh when i whip this out of my bag and put it in my drink so many people laugh and i'm like why are you laughing i'm saving the planet yep <laughs> collapsible straw very handy it fits nicely in my bum bag sorry about that sound um but it's also got a little key ring on this particular one so you can just attach it to your keys or on the outside of your bag whatever the next thing is a not reusable floss because it's not reusable floss that would be disgusting it's like a sustainable i think it's bamboo I want to say floss but the case is reusable so you just buy floss refills to put in it for traveling this one isn't the absolute best one because it is glass so i don't know maybe another one would be better but personally i have taken this with me and so far it has held up okay the next thing is one of these wild deodorant sticks i have been using the wild deodorant for like two and a half years now i have the case and i just buy the refills and if i was going to be going on a long backpacking journey then i would take the refills i would take several refills normally one lasts me six to eight weeks but if you're going on a short trip these little wild minis are really good because they hardly take up any space um, and there's a decent amount of deodorant in there i think mine is about here so maybe like a third Mm. just under half of it has been used and I've probably used it for the equivalent of like I don't know two or three weeks so yeah I reckon one of these could probably last you a month uh, so the next thing is a face halo pad these are amazing they are used to remove your makeup and you don't need any makeup remover you just need water so you just wet it wipe off your makeup 
and you're good to go. Yeah, and you can use it several times before washing it. You just rinse it with a bit of soap in between. The next thing is a shampoo bar. Mine actually aren't off of Amazon. I got these ones from Lush. So I will try and link the exact shampoo bar that I have in here. It smells like lemon. It's it's divine. <laughs> but a shampoo bar is great for if you're backpacking with a carry-on luggage because it doesn't count towards any liquids, but they also last a very long time. They're great. Just make sure that you dry them out properly in between each use and they're very handy. The next thing is a soap tin. So I also got this one from Lush, but I will link one on Amazon that I also have um, that I use for other soaps. I just don't know exactly where it is at the moment. I also lost one in Guatemala. I left it in the shower and then went back like a week later and I was like, it's not there anymore. Yeah, just like a tin that will hold a soap bar, the one that's big enough, because obviously these ones are too small for a regular soap bar, but so I just use bars for everything like face wash, uh, shampoo. I actually skip conditioner when I'm traveling because I hate the conditioner bars and a lot of the time people will leave shampoo and conditioner in the shower so I just use those <laughs> but I don't ever bring my own conditioner anymore because I just don't use it because I hate the conditioner bars. So yeah, normally body wash, face wash and shampoo in bath form. The next thing is to bring a tangle teaser with a case on it. This is I think personally the best one for like traveling or just bringing like around every day just because it has this case to protect the bristles so it's not going to get squashed so it's going to last a little bit longer. Next thing is a pair of period underwear. These are from Lilova. They're not actually from Amazon but I will link them below. You can get a discount. I can't remember exactly what the discount is but I will link the discount code below so that you can get, I believe it's like 20% off. But yeah, I've had these for maybe like two years now and I love them. Really, really handy um, for like just before you start your period, if you're not sure exactly when it's coming, you could just use this as like a just in case. Um, and then while we're on the same topic, also a menstrual cup. These are amazing for traveling because you don't have to worry about changing it during the day. You could put it in the morning, change it at night and then you're good. You can swim with it, you could do exercise with it. You can just, <laughs> and they're great, they're great. Just if you haven't already changed to a menstrual cup, highly highly recommend doing it you won't regret it so the next thing is a reusable water bottle preferably an insulated one because if you're traveling in tropical climates then you're going to be able to keep your water cold if you're traveling in cold climates you can put hot water in it and it's going to keep your water hot so personally i love having an insulated water bottle because I mean, I like drinking warm water, so it doesn't bother me that much about keeping it cold in the hot. But obviously, if you go to the beach and you leave your water bottle, there's no shade or you just roll it under your towel, it's going to go warm and it's not nice to drink sun heated water, especially in a plastic bottle. It's actually bad for you because I'm not sure exactly what happens, but I think like parts of the plastic melt and then you're drinking that. So it's actually really bad for you. Um, so one of these metal insulated ones are really good. I personally would recommend the 750 millimeter ones. Millimeter? Milliliter. Because the, I feel like the 500 milliliter ones are just that little bit too small, but the one liter ones are just a little bit heavy when they're full. So yeah, I think that these ones are like the perfect in-between size. So my mom actually made me this. I don't know if these exist to buy on Amazon. I don't see why not. So I will have a look to see if I can find any um, water bottle holders that I can link for you. But this is a water bottle holder and I put my water bottle in it because often when I'm traveling, I just take my bum bag with me and then I don't have space for a water bottle. So this is so handy. Unfortunately, I did choose white as the color and it looks lovely, but it gets very, very dirty. So maybe think a little bit more practically than I did if you get a water bottle holder, but yeah, highly recommend this to go with your water bottle. Then we're on to the last two things. Um, so the second from last thing is a packing cube. Um, I mean, not just one packing cube. This came in a pack of, I wanna say that there were four packing cubes, one for your shoes, one toiletries bag, and then like three wet bags. So I use them to put my liquids in or like wet swimming costumes or things like that. And um, then it came with like a couple of different size packing cubes. I honestly don't think that you need to spend a lot of money on packing cubes. Like some people will buy like these really fancy like compression cubes. 
I I really can't see how much help they are like I get it if you're like seriously overpacked it might help but I can't see that it helps enough to spend the extra money on it so just get a cheap packing cube these ones are actually really nice this exact one doesn't have it but the bigger two have um, straps so you can strap your clothes in very nicely and I just think they're absolutely fine. A packing cube's a packing cube at the end of the day, so just go for the cheaper ones. These ones I have used a lot, and quite a few times I have filled them very, very full, and I haven't had any issues with the zips breaking or anything. Um, so if I can find these exact ones, then I will link them below. And then the last thing is to find yourself a foldable, reusable bag. Um, when I'm traveling, I use these as like my shopping bag, my laundry bag, my like, just I can't fit everything in my backpack right now because I packed in a hurry kind of bag. <laughs> like if you have dirty shoes, you can put them in here. Like they're so versatile. Just get yourself like one or two foldable bags and take them with you. You won't regret having a foldable bag. <laughs> At least I didn't. Yeah, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have found it helpful as well. As I said earlier, I will have everything linked in the description for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.